Now, I am a learned arc scientist, in case you guys were unaware, but uh, every once in a while, I like to give the, the dinos a chance too. Because otherwise, like if I'm always winning all the time, which is win, 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 just stacking it up, Charlie, Charlie Sheen style, you know, then it's just, it's not even fun. Everyone, get out of my face. What? I'm rolling with it. What's going on, guys? It's me, Rocky X, coming at you today on some more Ark Survival Evolved with the Sons of Anarchy with a K Pugnacious server with my boy Wombat Skunky. What's up? Could you like maybe just move out of the frame just a little bit? Like your armor's putting me, putting me to shame. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, just a little farther. Just a little farther. Up. Yeah, if you could just stay over there. Good? <laughs> okay. Guys, I have some amazing plans for today. What I'm thinking I'm going to do, I want to try out. So we know that the Gigantopithecus is like some, has some kind of crazy exploit with the Katana, right? Uh, And I want to keep breeding those up. I'm not sure I'm going to do that. I'm probably going to do that behind the scenes. You having fun, bro? Oh, can you see? I thought I was maybe out of frame. <laughs> but uh, what I want to do is see if that is exclusive only to the Gigantopithecus. So I was thinking I could go tame some high-level Mantas. Uh, I always get that wrong. Is Mantas the C one? Uh, mantas are the C ones. Are you I'm looking gonna, for Mantas? I'm going to tame some Mantas and put some uh, Katanas in their hands. That would be pretty sick, right? That would be pretty wild and crazy <laughs> since they don't have hands. <laughs> I'm going to tame Mantis and put some of the katanas in their hand and see if that glitches them as well. If that did, that would be pretty insane. I feel like they could do some insane damage. You know what I mean? So I want to test that out. Worst comes to worst, we just get some awesome Mantis. You know what I mean? Yeah. That'd be, be pretty cool. But before I even get to that, the whole reason that my boy Wombat's here is two episodes ago. Whoa. You rubber banded a bit. Yep. Two <laughs> I do that sometimes. <laughs> just for the fun of it. Two episodes ago, we tamed these Indoraptors, and they were making me drop my weapons. They were making me drop, I mean, everything, right? They were they were doing damage to me. I didn't even notice they were doing damage to me while I was on my mount, and they had a bleed that was, like, negating all my armor. It was pretty insane. I want to see if, in PvP applications, if this will make you drop your weapons and stuff. I imagine that it will, and I want to show Wombat, like, the knockback and stuff. So what I'm thinking is, bro, roll with me a second. Also, hey, I found that Lamantria I was looking for like two episodes ago. Oh, did you? Where was it? Yeah, it's um, it's right here. Uh, there you go. That's I didn't the realize. perfect place to put it. Yeah, that's... <laughs> I'm storing it there just in case I need something to grind later. Uh, I hear you. That's not your mom. Let me uh, banish you from... Uh, <laughs> I was going to make that joke, but I thought I'd take the high road. <laughs> That'll teach you. Bro. <laughs> What's up? Can I banish you from the tribe for a second? No. Mm -mm, not till you apologize to my mother. <laughs> I'm sorry, Wombat's mother. Can I please banish you from the tribe? And now you have to say Wombat's cooler than Rocky. Remove player from tribe. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. Perfect. All right. I should probably, you know what? We should probably do this outside of the gates so that all my okay. other dinos don't jump you. You know what I mean? That's a wonderful idea. I'll go through them. You go ahead and go over, okay? Just Okay, yeah. <laughs> okay, cool. I'll do that. That way it's we're both equal and it's not like, hello, Carn Oh, I wanna tame it. Did you see that? Watch this, bro. Yeah, I did. Also, there's scary stuff chasing me. It's Good. scary outside these gates. Good. No 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 Oh god, okay. I see crazy high damage Oh, that must have been your gun. That was my gun. First and foremost, Hello. come here. Okay. I want to show you this. All right. Maybe just stand in front of me right here, okay? Okay. With a gun out? Uh, you might want to put your gun up. Okay. Gun is up. That's an impressive knockback. Wait. <laughs> That's pretty incredible. Like, the knockback on that thing is stupid. But what I'm really wanting to see is the... Uh, did that put a bleed on you, by the way? That did not put a bleed on me, now. Okay, so that's left click. You Let's know, it did take down a quarter of my health, though. Oh, really? So it's negating armor, then? Because there's no yeah, way it would I be doing that much. Definitely doing that. Hit me one more time. Okay. Hit me, baby, one more time. <laughs> oh, baby, baby. 
Yeah, that took my health down. Uh, that took about 50 points off of my health. Okay. Yeah, so that's got to be negating armor. That's pretty amazing. That's pretty nice. All right, let me take care of these. All right, you can maybe... Okay, don't you dare yeah. shoot him with your super loud gun. Don't you do it. Don't worry, I'll get him. I missed. Oh, this oh. is awkward. I'm, I got super nervous because I ran at you like while you were <laughs> pointing your gun. Can you please? Are you going to hit him? Did I take care of this? Got one. Hold on. Hold on. This ammo is real cheap, so this is totally the way to do this. There we go. There's a two for there. <laughs> two more. <laughs> two more to go. Hold on. We got this. Don't even worry about it. There you go. Problem solved. Uh -huh. And it wasn't. Yeah, problem, oh, problem on, solved. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> One more, one more. Problem one solved, more. my friend. Okay, there we go. Perfect. It's like shooting skeet. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, so I'm going to right-click. Take your gun out, but don't shoot me with it, please. That would be real okay. sad. And gun see if I out. make you drop it. Uh, I did, did you... not make me drop my gun. Oh, this makes me sad. So what is the point of I this really... attack? I really kind of thought it would. Does this do anything different? Um, uh, it hurts. That puts a bleed on me. Okay. Huh. That definitely, yeah, that puts a good bleed on me. I'm down to half health. Let me try, oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, it's hurting I'm pretty to good. Make sure I'm on, not let me like... let this go away, and I'll use a healing potion real quick. Okay. All healed up. Yeah, that so, does put a good bleed on me. At least there's that, but I'm super sur sur survived. I'm super survived. That this doesn't make you drop your weapons. It just makes me sad. Huh. Yeah, I really kind of thought it would. Does it do anything else cool? Um. It goes invisible. See? Okay. You Please tell me you're not invisible right now. <laughs> I'm invisible right now. No, nah, you no, you ain't. <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> Bro, throw no, me a you're, bone you're here. right here. Throw I can bone. see. Oh. Okay. Oh, where did Rocky go? <laughs> you can't see me. <laughs> Since he's gone, I guess I might as well randomly fire my gun around. <laughs> Take it. <laughs> All right. Well, that makes me really sad, but uh, it was worth a shot. I guess I can add you back to the tribe now. How about that? That would be pretty cool. I'd appreciate it. Welcome to SOA, my friend. Welcome. Oh, thanks. Oh, hold on. You got to stay here so I can accept it. Oh, welcome. What? And accept. All right. Perfect. See you back at base. <laughs> yeah, man. I won't keep you any longer. I just really wanted to. Um... Oh, God. Oh, God. Whoa. He's coming at you, bro. Easy. They're coming at Clever you, bro. Clever girl. Clever girl. Oh. <laughs> I got coming. you. Don't no worry. I got you. <laughs> but yeah, man, I just needed to borrow you for a, a few quick seconds to test that out, man. I appreciate you helping. Oh, this is awkward. Okay. All right. Please. <laughs> I appreciate you helping me out, man. I always try to do my best. <laughs> you did a you did a swell job. I will say the coolest thing about being over here right now is this tech building. This tech building looks amazing. Yeah, it's pretty incredible. I don't even really understand how they did this. I don't either. I like I feel like there's building parts here I didn't know existed. <laughs> I feel like people need to to pass her tea bunny. She has talked about I mean, let's be real, she said this a million times. But she said she really wanted to do a, a build video on this because she loves the way that right. these pillars come through the wall and up like that. Uh, and she wants to show people how to do that. So maybe if people yep. pester her enough, we can get her to nah, do one. she won't. She, she won't. won't do one. I'll have to help nah, her, maybe. Ain't no way. No, yeah. Yeah, okay. well, you probably helped her build this one if I had to guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't know if you saw my taming pin last episode, so... Um, yeah. Whew. Yeah, this, this is pretty <laughs> much on par with that. <laughs> that you, yeah. you, you sounded like you wanted to say something. That's weird. Uh, I was gonna say it looked really cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's if what you I were figured. going for like that that crooked set of teeth look. <laughs> that's kind of what you're going for, right? Yes, yeah, that's exactly it. Okay, yeah, you done real good then. Okay, guys, so it's actually been a couple of days, in part because my internet went out for close to 24 hours, and it just so happened to be like in the amount in the scheduled time for me to record and so i wasn't able to get on here and record but also after that on top of that i should say uh, i just wasn't at all prepared for what i wanted to, to do i didn't realize how many freaking resources it was going to take so i had to put that regular art grind in but what i did is i crafted up two oh wrong inventory what i did was crafted up two amazing mantis saddles 
uh, both with, I think, 349 armor on them. And then I crafted up several katanas because I'm not sure exactly how this is going to work. And then I crafted up a regular one so that we could see um, if the quality of the Cortana and the damage uh, actually scales with it. It doesn't on the Gigantopithecus. I don't know how it's going to work with the Mantis. So I'm excited to see really if this is something that is just exclusive to those Gigantopithecus. Uh, some kind of bug there. Or if it also works with the Mantis. So maybe we can find a male and a female, get that boost. And at the very least, whatever happens, we can go out and... Um, see what they're capable of. I mean, if I don't go back home with them, it's not the worst thing in the world uh, unless they're hitting for like something ridiculous. Now, first and foremost, can I even pick this thing up? <laughs> like I want to tame them out here, kind of maybe just a little, but at the same time, there's so much scary stuff. Like, am I safe if I set you down here probably? Or maybe like, I think I could do this and probably, he's gonna get knocked out like super quick. Let's drop him. Let's, um. Just drop him. Possibly. Okay. Well, okay. Oh, I think I, I think there's like a, <laughs> there was like a lag spike. So every time I dropped him, I was picking him back up. Here we go. Now, normally these are passive tames, but in Pugnacia, you, that was a one shot knockout. In Pugnacia, you can knock him out as well. Now, also, you don't even have to have the death worm. The tech music was still concerning me. The death worm horns. You tame them with, uh, that gummit, everything is on. You tame them with spoiled meat, so that'll make this a whole lot easier. Spoiled meat. Oh, yeah, there's a ton of it. Put this on you like so. That, that, blub, wrong button, blub, blam. Ba, ba, bum, bum. Are you a, okay, you're a female. That's perfect. That's perfect. Um, Let's see what your stats even look like. Oh. <laughs> oh. I'm going to let you hang on to that spoiled meat, but uh, not even 10,000 health could be an issue, especially where we're at. 555% melee. Of course, those stats will go up pretty quick. Let's uh, go ahead and take one of these amazing saddles. Let's go ahead and take one of these amazing... Well, that Cortana. <laughs> Dang it! I was so just trying so hard not to say Cortana. That Katana and that Katana. Let's throw this on you and let's put this in your hands. I bet you look swag with it. Oh my god! <laughs> That's the most amazing thing I've ever seen in the entire history of my life. I need to put you on my shoulder. I need to take you off of my shoulder because you weigh a ton and a half. That could be problematic. I might have to maybe put some stuff on the mantis or something, but, uh, but my God, this looks amazing. Now I know an awesome place to level this up. I'm hopefully not going to get it killed. Maybe I can put you on my shoulder because <laughs> I'll show you guys with, one of the perks to the Jurassic Park mod over spawning stuff on here or Crystal Isles mod spawning over spawning the Jurassic Park stuff. I don't know exactly how it works. Uh, is that there's plenty of stuff to try and level up with. So we'll put this guy on our shoulder. Hopefully that won't encumber anything. Ta-da. Let me show you. Let me show you. <laughs> Look at this ridiculousness. I mean, I should be able to be stuff and level up in here pretty quick, I think. So the issue is... I mean, there's like uh, the skeletal gigas and all that kind of stuff over there, which is a little bit terrifying. It doesn't appear on this side that there's too much bad stuff. So this is probably where I'm going to try and level up from. Let's toss it back down. I think everything should be good. I'll, um, you can stay on passive for now. Oh, God. This will be amazing. What level is this elephant? We'll start there and see what we hit for. Level 80. First, you know what we should have done. Here, let's do this. I should have tested it without the katana in his hand to begin with. Let's see. So without the katana, we are hitting, could put my gun up. We are hitting four. 305. 305 doesn't really cut. Oh my God, that thing is huge. That. Well, I need to tame some high level dart frogs too, right? And test those out. Like what kind of torpor can we get if we breed some good ones? All right. So that was three something. I don't even remember I've talked since then. Now, 12,000. 12,000. <laughs> now, let's take this out of the hand. And let's see if it's like the Gigantopithecus where it's going to hit for even more. Oh, hey there. No. Well, that's a little bit of a bummer. I wanted you to work like just like the Gigantopithecus. So here's the thing. These katanas break pretty freaking quick. Let me get out of here. 
I imagine then that this is going to scale with the quality of the katana. Let's put this in there. Let's check it out again. If it hits for 12,000, that would be spectacular, but I don't think it's going to. Dang. Okay. Okay. Hmm. That's rather disappointing. Though it does seem to be something exclusive to the Gigantopithecus. Uh, at least the way that these mods mesh. So, okay. Well, that's fine with me. I wish I had brought some unicorn poop and thought about it, but uh, I'm just going to be some stuff real quick. Good Lord, that frog. Check this out, guys. So just from going around that little bit and killing some stuff through the water, which actually there's still a ton more that I can do to level up. Uh, I got 38 levels or something. I wish I, I really wish I had remembered unicorn poop, but let's go ahead and pump this in here. I also didn't test out like the jump attack to see what that does uh, damage wise. And like uh, it, it definitely seems like the, what's the word I'm looking for? The um, uh, da, 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 durability, like the rate of durability uh, damage to these weapons is decreased in the mantis. That's how it seems to me because I know in the Gigantopithecus hands, like that would have been done already. Like there's no way I could have killed that many things without it breaking. Did that just say, hold up. Did I just break them right after I said that? Okay, I'm not even sure what that said, but I feel like I need to investigate it because it looked really high. Blah, blah. Oh, that's not near as high as I thought. Okay, one of them just did 26,000. 26,000. That's not bad. I mean, considering like I'm not leveled up and this isn't like a primal variant or anything. This is just straight up mantis. That's not too shabby at all. Now, what we need to do is I'm going to continue to level this up for a little bit and then we will uh, go and see if we can find us a male, a high level male. We'll level that one up as well. And then <laughs> we're going to go around until they get killed. Most likely we're going to see what it takes to kill two amazingly saddled, hopefully amazingly meleeed mantis with uh, some incredible katanas in their hands. That didn't take long at all. There's a 540 male right here. Oh God. There's a 540 male down here. It's that red one. I'm kind of like not wanting it to die. So gonna try and save it without killing it. Oh, well that worked pretty well. Let me snatch it up. Uh, once I can find it, let's snatch it up. Are you it? Are you the red one? Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the 540. That's more, I mean, that's 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 good enough for me. I'm not, because <laughs> it took me a long time to find a decent leveled female over there. Um, I don't know. If I accidentally, like, hit one of these frogs, this could be, a, it's a one shot, right? Like, oh, God, what am I doing? I guess that's one way to drop them. Here we go. Oh, thank God that frog stopped it. Oh, no. Frog, do not get angry at it. Oh, thank God. <laughs> it's Torpor would, would stay up. That's one good thing about what, 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 what? Okay, it's the same scenario as last time. Just <laughs> no, no, <laughs> you stupid bad mantis, bad mantis. Dang, come it. We whistle passive right now. RIP, bro. RIP. If I can keep it alive, this works out even better. There's a 580. Yeah, get out of here. Stay alive, Mantis. Don't let the lightning kill you. This one doesn't look near as cool, but it's a 580 male. So, I mean, yeah, that didn't take long at all either. In fact, there's the carcass of the other one. All right, let's drop you the right way. Turn, do a little spin a rooski back up. Don't get hit by whatever the crap he's doing there. Put a little dart in his face. Oh, is this one tougher? No, okay, we're good. Uh, I do believe I left. Oh yeah, I still got spoiled meat over here. Yeah, I'm not gonna get freaked out by your attack music because I just so happen to know there's nothing really attacking me. Please, for the love of God, mantis on my shoulder. There we go. Here, mm -hmm. and here, and here. Finally, 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 finally. Good God, this one took like 10 times as long as the other one to tame. I don't even know what the deal is. 
So I decided to go ahead. Uh, let's go ahead. Do I have the saddle on me? Of course I don't. I want to go ahead. I set the teleporter down. Uh, I'm going to bring them back to the base. Well, I'm at least going to go back to the base. And I want to grab some of the unicorn poops because it'll definitely help speed up the whole completely tame or er, leveling them process. Or at least as close to that as I can get. Because I want to get their melee up pretty high. And I don't know what I should even get their health to. This one has even less health than the other one. I feel like their health should at least be somewhere around 20. And then I'll put the rest in the melee. But I'm going to go back. I'm going to grab some unicorn poops. And then I'm going to go around and see if I can't level these guys up. And then we'll have these mate boosted super high melee. What did I even say? Hey, mate boosted super melee high saddled. We're going to have mantis. And then we're, they're probably not going to live through things. That um, It's a one-way trip, most likely. Okie dokie, we are back. Uh, neither one of them is 100% uh, leveled up, but they're both pretty close. And they're both uh, like within two levels of each other. So, I mean, it's pretty close. This one has, I think I got its health. Yeah, 20,500 health and 2,500 melee. This one is 20,100 health, 2,800 melee. But um, this should do the job for, uh, for most things. There's going to be something out here in the desert. Oh, show though. That it's going to put a hurting on us. We'll just see what all I can live through. Uh, but we do, like, before I take him in, like, this is a one-way trip, most likely. Like, 99.9% .9 sure this is a one-way trip. Like, the least we could do is give them, give them some names. So the female, let's go, uh, change your name. I'll even give you the tag. I'll give you the honor. <laughs> the exclusive honor of wearing the tag. Uh, how about Slap Chop? Slap Chop, Slice and Dyson. Uh, and then the male, we can go with, you get the tag too, sir. Uh, Barry, man, <laughs> Barry, man, just slow. Barry, man, just slow. <laughs> the perfect name. Okay. Roll with me. I feel like not the zombie Titan to start with. You know what I mean? Let's go ahead and show you guys what these hit for. I bet this is knocked out. These frogs have been just beasting everything. And that may be what I do next. No, oh, it's not knocked out. It's And it's a perfect 600. Check this out. Blah, blah, I'm 85,000 damage. Tell me that's not ridiculous. 85,000. It's not Primal Gigantopithecus ridiculous, but it's pretty insane to say the least. I'm not even going to waste like the uh, durability of these Cortanas. God dang it. I'm not even going to waste the durability of these katanas on any of these water dinos. We're just going to come over here and pick on something big. So these, like these mantis should be zero issues. Is that like a zombie? Hey, yo, get sliced up. Maybe uh, this guy wants some too. Nah, don't think so. You? Nah, -uh. oh, zombie titanus. No, I can't do that. Let's go. I bet even the skeletal Bronto is stupid hard. It might, like, I hate to die to the first thing we come across. What is your, uh, that's the wrong thing. 28,000 health. Oh, like I can probably one shot you. That was the most awkward attack I've ever seen in the entire history of my life. Come this way, sir. Uh, before I do this, what level is this tomorrow? Well, I'm not giving the chance. Tumultuous dad. Tumultuous. Did you die too? I'll be ding dong dang. Okay. Um, more of a challenge then. Skeletal Rex. This thing will have a decent amount of health. No, it doesn't say 5,000. I'm looking at the wrong thing, right? Okay, 16,000. This isn't even gonna hold up to it. Sweet Lord. Oh, what just hit me that hard? What the crap just hit me that hard? Was it that Rex like before it died or something? Holy cow. Oh no, don't hit it. Okay, whoo. I didn't want it to like instantly break the weapons. That was the thing. <laughs> That's why I didn't want it to hit the Arthropleura. Okay, this is gonna have to be like, we're gonna have to step it up a notch. This isn't even gonna be a thing. 82,000 with the regular attack. Oh, maybe a skeletal Carno. Clack, 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 clack. 40, clack, clack. Clack, clack, there we go. Ooh, a skeletal Wyvern. Holy crap! He's dead. <laughs> Look at this Argent Davis. It's like the coolest thing I've seen. I mean, it's dead now. I mean, it's dead now. <laughs> but it was pretty cool. 
That zombie calico was a 580. Oh my god. I don't know what would be worse to pick on. Here, let me pump some more levels. Unfortunately, I ran out of the unicorn poops as well. At least ran out of the ones that I brought and I didn't feel like going back. How do you not have any levels? I don't know what would be worse to pick on. The skeletal giga or the zombie titan? If I get over there too close, then like it's a done deal anyways. It's going to come after me. Three million health. Ah! <laughs> we've only got 20,000. Uh, we've only got 20,000 health. Okay, let's let's go with zombie titan then. This is such a mistake. Like, I should have attacked it when I saw it because it already had decreased health at that point. You know what I mean? I wouldn't have had to take out the full million before, like, it enacted its wrath upon me. But now I've got to burn through all the health. Oh, God. It's actually a lot of hits, isn't it? Oh, no. Because I feel like possibly in two two stomps. Hmm. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What are you... What are we after? No. This is such a poor decision. But what else? Hmm. We could do like, uh, there's no ancient rexes over here. We'd have to go. Nope. I said this was a one range. <laughs> Hold on. I'm not okay. I'm thinking about it. I'm rethinking it. Let me see. Um, don't be aggressive. Don't be aggressive. Don't be aggressive. I don't remember. We got about half left on these katanas. So at 85,000, let's call it 160,000. We're going to have to get 10 hits on this guy. I don't know if we can withstand. Hmm. Yeah, it's a good test. It's a good test. It's a good test. It's a good test. It is a good test. Ah. Come get him, other one. Come get him. Come get him. Oh no. One second. Katana. Hopefully that one's katana didn't break. Oh. Good lord, he launched me. But, but I forgot that it puts like a bleed on there too. I'm coming. Yuck! <laughs> the fly thing is so broken. It's not really like, did it break my other katana? No, that is not good news, even a little. The bleed it puts on there is incredible though. I don't want to burn through another katana. You know what I mean? It, I just broke two on it. We're gonna have to beat it like either old school without the katana or not at all. And it's not hitting for much because of these saddles. But I really don't want that other man just to die. The only thing I think that we have going for us at this point because of the low amount of damage we're doing is the fact that um, it's got that bleed on it from side of a gun. You know what? Maybe, uh, maybe just... Ah! You stay alive, Barry Mantis slow. Maybe, uh, whoa, whoa, let's rethink it. Okay, let's not rethink it. Where are we at? Oh, he's gaining health faster than, okay, passive. Passive, passive, passive. This way. <laughs> Dang it. Oh! We can't get away from it. Oh no. All right, well, I look like I'm burning through this last katana I've got. La blam take it, take. Take a flying jump, flip jumping. Dang, it breaks those weapons so quick. That sucks real bad. I might have been better off with the skeletal giga because at least it wouldn't. So look at us trying to burn through how quickly it's, uh, all right. You know what? I've had about enough of your shenanigans. This is not putting a dent in him, even a little bit. <laughs> I, I said enough of the shenanigans, sir. Enough of the shenanigans. Yeah, as quickly as we can damage it, it is healing back up. Like, watch. Oh, I'm actually attacking pretty quick right now. Yeah, 299, 296, 298. <laughs> this is such not a good idea. Why did you guys let me do this? This is all or nothing right now, though. I'm out of stamina, and I'm flying. How is that one still alive? I guess maybe I've been the focus of the attacks. He's almost back up to 300. Jeez. 
<laughs> well, we do know that, I mean, you can still get, it's dead. Danny, Matt, Barry, <laughs> Danny, Barry. Danny was, Barry was his middle name, if y'all didn't know. Um, it appears that, maybe I need to run. Maybe I need to abandon my mantis. Abandon ship! I'm not like a captain going down with his, oh God! No, no, there we go. Let him have it, man. <laughs> oh, slap chop. Slap <sighs> Dad gum it. Well, I mean, we knew that it was going to take out just about anything over here. The zombie Titan may have been the toughest thing that we could have gone for outside of the skeletal Giga. And the fact that the zombie Titan heals up for the amount of damage that it's dealing out. I mean, that was the harder of the two. I wish I had taken on the Skeletal Giga at this point, <laughs> just to see if I could do it. I don't know if we could have like burned it through the damage that we were taking, but that's fine. We know that highly, I mean, those things were almost max leveled. So that was, uh, we were doing what? 85,000, somewhere around 85,000 damage. Those Katanas are incredible, but it is not game breaking like it is with the Gigantopithecus. So I'm not sure why that is the thing on them. I also need to test and just make sure that the sword is not affected like that. Like the regular vanilla in-game sword. I keep waiting to get just basted. The regular vanilla in-game sword uh, isn't affected that way. So we can test that out as well. And then that's probably where we're going to have to call it. Because um, it's going to take me. No, it's not going to take me a long time to get back. Because I was smart enough to pick up the teleporter. Look at me. We've got a 715% damage sword and a primitive sword. Just to test it out. I don't know why it would make a difference with regular swords when it doesn't with katanas. Uh, as you know, like we can just use the base katana with 100% damage. Uh, and when it breaks, it, it breaks the same way, regardless of the damage number. So without, without the katana, like doing the whole thing, every time the server resets, it's going to bring it back to its, its base melee damage, which should be 36,000. And as you've seen, if we put the katana in its hand, hit something, take it out, it's 800,000, which is just... A little bit dumb. So from 36,000, let's go with the 100% one first. From 36,000. Come on. To 56,000. Let's go ahead and swap. Oh, did not mean to do that. Sorry, Barry Niners. Swipe, swap, sweep, swipe that out. Let's smack this dude with the 700. And I imagine it's still going to be 56,000. Good to know. Now. Does it break the same way? I'm thinking not. Surely not. Now I'm hitting for 70,000. So it did break it, right? Just not to the same extent. We were hitting for 36,000. Then we put the sword in and it was 56,000. And now we're hitting for 70,000. So for whatever reason, that katana amplifies it, but the sword is still doing the exact same thing. Let me verify again. Let me find something. Why is it whenever you want to find something, there's nothing around? This may be the longest I've ever walked around without finding anything. <laughs> like seriously, it took forever. And it's because all the spawns are in that freaking river where I was piecing things with the mantis, I guess. So we were hitting for 70,000 after we took the sword back out. That's probably going to be consistent here. Yeah! 70,000. 70,000. That is just so crazy. So it's not necessarily the katana that's breaking it, even though it is definitely amplifying it quite a bit. Uh, but it works even with just like the regular sword thing. I mean, it doubled the damage. And I don't have the Bronto on my shoulder. Oh, why didn't I have the Bronto on my shoulder with the Mantis? My science. My science is forever flawed. Wait, before I kill you. No. <laughs> you shall live. Dad gummit. I should have brought the terrestrial Bronto. That would have made a pretty freaking big difference. We'd probably been hitting for 160,000 or something like that instead. And that would have killed the zombie Titan. You live and you learn. Now, I am a learned arc scientist, in case you guys were unaware, but uh, every once in a while, I like to give the, the dinos a chance too. Because otherwise, like if I'm always winning all the time, which is win, 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 just stacking it up, Charlie, Charlie Sheen style, you know, then it's just, it's not even fun. Everyone, get out of my face. 
<laughs> this is awkward. Guys, <laughs> this is where we're going to call it. Um, I hope you enjoyed the episode. <laughs> if you did, please make sure to hit that thumbs up button and let me know about it. I do. <laughs> I am sorry that I, I missed that video on Saturday, guys. My internet went out. There was just so much going on. And I wasn't able to make it up. Uh, but I'm glad we're back on track now. And again, just leave me a comment. I'd love to hear from you guys. And until we meet again. Hey, yeah.